Welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Tuesday, October 2, 2007. They're on a mission from God. Their names are not Jake and Elwood, but two Southmont students are leaving Montgomery County to do the Lord's work. Southmont sophomore Jacob Roberts, 16, and freshman Angela Ames, 14, are currently working to raise money to go to Fairbanks, Alaska next summer. The team is going to help a small church that's building an addition to its structure. They will also work with families and children in the area around the church. The two teens are going on the trip through their church, Crossroads Community Church of the Nazarene. They're being joined on the trip by Justina Dickey, a North Putnam student who also attends the same church. Getting a lesson from the experts. A group of 80 Nicholson second grade students are better prepared today if they come into contact with fire. Miranda Patton, Kim Lawson, Lori Ward, and Susie Minch walked from Nicholson to Crawfordsville Fire Department Monday morning for a field trip. We brought them, the children, here because October is Fire Safety Month, Patton said. We will carry this on into the classroom. Patton said it's never too early to start teaching fire safety, and Fire Inspector Brian Betchel coordinates the tours through the station. He said this is something they have done annually for more than 50 years. City closer to E911 agreement. The city of Crawfordsville is one step closer to having an E911 agreement with the county. Crawfordsville City Council Fiscal Affairs Committee voted unanimously Monday night to send a resolution to the full council that would approve the 2008 E911 agreement. According to the Fiscal Affairs Committee Chair Chuck Fiedler, this is the same agreement we have had in the past. County couple captures magical memories. That's one heck of a headline. You know, I sometimes suspect that Rick repeatedly rewrites his hard-heading headlines just to see if I'll trip tongue-tied over all the alliteration a nerdy newsman can carefully craft into each and every solitary syllable, callously cramming and condensing complex commentary into seemingly simple sentences while tenaciously trying to compact today's topics with crucial catchiness. Take that, Rick. As I was saying, County Couple Captures Magical Memories. Tim and Jenny Saylor have been working to send Montgomery County residents on magical vacations since April. Tim Saylor said that they own the home-based travel agency, Magical Travel. Saylor said that they specialize in planning trips to Walt Disney World in Florida, Disneyland in California, the Disney Cruise Line, and Adventures by Disney. Sailor said that at Magical Travel, they pride themselves on going far beyond just booking hotels and ordering park tickets. They can make restaurant recommendations and book dining reservations for their clients. They can also do park itinerary planning, as much or as little as the client wants them to. These people clearly know and love all things Disney. On our Montgomery Today page, that's B1 in our print edition, you can read about 13 students at Crawfordsville High School who have earned the designation of AP Scholar. Also on B1, Tony Thomas is our Tuesday guest columnist. In local sports action, Wabash Junior Varsity defeats DePaul Junior Varsity 10-7, a game in which seven county players were involved. North Montgomery defeats conference rival Lebanon in volleyball in three games, and North Montgomery's Josh Hodges places second, and Jess Kalayman third in a home triangular cross-country meet. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage and pick up a print copy of the paper of Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Stu Clampett.